The why you should add a sub is well covered in other videos. This video is to detail how to add the sub-15 to the A77X as in placement and calibration. These settings are what we recommend, but to be clear, there are many settings to different personal tastes and use case scenarios. This should be considered a baseline. We will start with the ideal placement, which we know is not always possible. For linear phase response, aligning the transducers in a vertical plane is key. Around the crossover point, content will be reproduced by both the sub and the satellites, so time aligning them is crucial. Moving the sub forward, back, or changing the orientation will delay the signal and will cause phase cancellation. We will suggest a number of corrections for phase problems at the end of this video, but for now, set the subwoofer phase to zero degrees. There are two primary configurations to consider, using an outboard monitor control system or using the onboard base management. We will begin with the latter. For setting the low-pass filter, we recommend taking the lowest cutoff of the monitor and setting the filter up half an octave. The cutoff for the A77X is 38 Hz, so we will set the filter at 57 Hz. We have sessions of both Pro Tools and Logic, as well as the RAW files you can load into your DAW of choice. This procedure will require an SPL meter. These are readily available in both hardware and software form. A smartphone app is perfectly suitable for this procedure. We will start by calibrating the A77X. Place the A77X input at zero and the sub-15 at minus 60 dB. Solo the pink A77X track. Place the SPL meter in the listening position and turn up your control room volume until the SPL meter reads 80 dB. Leave the control room volume there. Now, turn off the A77X and solo the pink sub-15 track. Turn up the sub-level until the SPL meter reads 80 dB. Your sub-15 and A77X are now properly calibrated for level. Perfect placement is not always possible and this can lead to phase problems. And there are a number of solutions. With using onboard base management, the solutions are a bit crude but ultimately effective. The goal is to time align the signals by physically moving or twisting the sub. Solo the 50 Hz tone and send to both the A77X and sub-15. Begin moving and or twisting the sub until the SPL meter reaches its lowest point. It should be obvious. What you are hearing and the SPL meter is showing is full cancellation that we call the null spot. Now, flip the phase by pressing the subwoofer phase button on the sub-15. Technically, this is just a polarity flip, but it has the exact same effect on phase. Your A77X Sub-15 2.1 system is now SPL matched and time aligned. If you're using a monitor controller with a separate subwoofer out, there is an additional hack to get the system time aligned. This requires a phase delay box. We use the Phaser by Radial. The Phaser is patched between the subwoofer output of the monitor controller and the subwoofer input. After going through the SPL matching procedure, play the 50 Hz tone and send it to both the A77X and the Sub-15. Set the phaser to these settings. Power on, phase invert out, shift knob fully counterclockwise, blend fully clockwise, filter off. Instead of physically moving the sub, the phaser does the work. Turn the shift knob until you find the null spot with the SPL meter at its lowest point. Then push the phase invert to fully correct the alignment. Enjoy full range monitoring courtesy of Adam Audio.